everybody, it's Jay the Nerd here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to get all the nerdy content you'll ever need every Wednesday and Saturday. Speaking of Wednesday, today is another Attack on Titan final season review with episode two. Now, surprisingly enough, and obviously there will be spoilers to the episode, just so you know, but obviously enough, or funny enough, I guess, I am perfectly fine with none of the main characters being in the first two episodes. Even though Levi is the love of my life, I love him with all of my heart, I've been okay with them not being in it because I'm really enjoying what they're doing with the outside world characters. And honestly, what they're doing with Reiner is making him become a favorite of mine. Like, I love it when they take, you know, a character that is supposedly a villain and show another side to them and show them maybe grow as a person. Like, literally, if you know me, you know that I have an extreme soft spot for villain characters who end up having um, a, another side to them and where they grow and become better. Like, literally, I'm in love with it. Like, I, I, I wish everything in the universe had characters like that because I would fall in love with them. And I'm just really, really freaking loving what they're doing with Reiner's character. And showing him wanting to prevent his sister. I'm assuming Gabby is his sister. I know that they're, we're all sitting together and acting like they're a family. They don't really super look related, but I'm, I, I know they're family. I'm, I'm assuming that's his sister. I, I can't remember exactly, but trying to prevent Gabby from becoming the um, armor titan because, you know, if she does, she's literally going to die when she's 27 because she has to get eaten and complete the cycle and everything. And it's interesting to see Reiner, who was so gung-ho about being the armored titan and, you know, uh, attacking the world within the walls and everything, and now he realizes that maybe this system is wrong and fucked up and he doesn't want his family to be a part of it anymore. And I just, I really like what they're doing with this character. And I think it's um, just an interesting way to start the season to like show us this perspective. Because like when you watch the first three seasons of the show, you're like, wait, the outside world like you're, you're taught that the outside world is, is scary and bad and full of titans and then you slowly learn that wait the outside world is different than we were told it's not taken over by titans we're not in year 850 um and the people that are ruling within the walls have been lying to us and using the titans to control and manipulate us <coughs> you know like okay but you learn that the outside world is also bad and starting a uh, wanting to start a war with us and control the Titans. And you slowly learn that like everything is not so black and white as you thought and like both sides are the bad guy. And I feel like it's gonna get really interesting because I feel like Aaron and them don't really understand the fact that the outside world isn't completely the bad guy it's just the people that rule it and manipulate people and it's gonna get bad now I obviously I haven't read the manga I know that there's some controversy with Aaron attacking the outside world from the manga and I'm gonna assume it's probably because not everybody's a bad guy in the outside world just like not everybody's a bad guy on the world within the walls um, I just this is gonna get really interesting because they're, you know, pulling a Last of Us Part 2 where they're being like, guess what, the bad guy has his own, the other side have their own reasons and guess what, we both did bad things and guess what, we're both human and, and things like that. Like, it's a really interesting perspective to take with this show because the show is just, it's done such a good job of slowly and slowly expanding the world and world building they've done such a good job at doing it slowly that so that it makes sense um and showing you it's much more than just a we fight titans show it's so much more than that and it's about um once again people in the government and the higher ups and the rich people manipulating everyone else and trying to use people as weapons. And it's the typical story of that because they're literally manipulating people and using Titans as weapons on both sides. 
and I hope that it ends with Aaron and them realizing and saving the people from saving the people in the outside world and everyone from both within the walls and the outside world coming together to fight off um, the bad people in power and end the cycle of Titans once and for all. But I guess we'll see. I don't think the manga has even ended, so maybe the anime will have a different ending from the manga, but I don't know. But either way, I'm really enjoying what they're doing with this season so far. And I will see you on Saturday with another Persona 5 Royal New Game Plus Let's Play Part. Bye!